In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a CNAME record using GoDaddy as your DNS manager. So this is the screen you see when you log into GoDaddy. You've, so this assumes you've created your account and you've already bought a domain. So in my case here, I've bought this custom domain example.com uh, domain. And so what I'm going to do is from here, which is just on domains, all domains, I'll click on the domain that I've bought. And then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And in this additional settings part of the screen, which is right at the bottom, I'm going to go to manage DNS. And this is the DNS management screen for GoDaddy. A C name record stands for canonical uh, name record. And it's basically a mapping from one domain to another. And the most common type of C name is this what you see already set up by GoDaddy by default, which is from the www of your domain through to the root of your domain, uh, also known as the naked domain. And that's what this at sign symbolizes. Okay, so in this video, we're looking to create a custom domain, which will be at the root domain. Now, in another video, I show how to set up a subdomain. In order to do this, we're going to use Cloudflare as basically an intermediary to manage our, our DNS for us. So what we're going to do to start off with is from our GoDaddy domain management screen, we'll just grab the domain we're going to be working with. It's this custom domain example.com. I'm going to go over to Cloudflare and log in. Uh, you'll need to create an account. It's free. And then you can go to add site. I'm going to add this domain and go add site. And you can just select the free plan here. Continue. Cloudflare is now going to look for any existing DNS records. Okay, and it's found some of these uh, that currently exist in GoDaddy. That's fine, I'll go continue. And this is what we need to do now is uh, change the name servers. So we're going to replace these name servers in GoDaddy and yours might be slightly different, but it'll be quite similar um, and replace them with these. And again, yours might be different. So make sure you check this here in Cloudflare. So I'm going to copy the first one and in our DNS management screen for GoDaddy, if you scroll down to name servers, we're going to go change. And we'll go enter my own name servers. So the first one will be uh, what we copied from Cloudflare. And then I'll grab the second one and paste that in here. And then we'll go save. Yes, that's fine. We know what we're doing. Um, okay. Done. Check name servers. Now, as it says here, this switching process can take up to 24 hours. It usually doesn't, but it, you know, it may take well take uh, 30 minutes or so, but let's see if we get lucky. Okay, so that took about one hour and I received an email to let me know when the process was complete. And then when I refresh the page, uh, I can see that Cloudflare is now protecting this custom domain example.com site. So next up, let's go to DNS. And we're going to delete all the records that we've got at the moment because we'll be creating new ones. Uh, so this A and C name record are going to go. Same here for this C name record. And same for this one. The first thing we want to do is to create a CNAME record to our root domain. So we know that we're working here with this custom domain example.com. And I've actually already created this CNAME record. 
uh, what you would do here is you'd go to add record you'd select type C name you would put uh, at because it's the root and at is what symbolizes the root domain and then for the target you're gonna grab from course maker settings tab and then down here in the custom domain section you want this uh, value you can skip the period at the end and obviously this will be different for your school um, this is specific to whichever school you're working with and you're going to copy this value and paste it in the target field for uh, the proxy status you're going to set this to DNS only and then hit save like I say I've already done this um, and at this point uh, you need to give it a bit of time, let's say 15, 20 minutes, and at that point you'll be ready to go back to Course Maker and hit Confirm. If you get an error like we just saw, it means that the C name hasn't quite finished getting set up in Cloudflare, and in that case I suggest waiting 15 to 30 minutes and then trying again. So I've just paused for 10 minutes, let's hit Confirm again. and this time around it's marked as done so that should be working let's give it a test so now I'm going to create a page redirect so up here in Cloudflare you go to page rules and we have three free page rules on the the free plan so if you go to create page rule and what we want to do here is as it's actually already suggesting we're going to redirect from www dot and then the name of your custom domain here uh, including whether it's a dot com or dot org whatever it may be and then we're going to put a star symbol here to signify what's known as a wildcard so this will capture any URL which has this as the domain then for a setting we will scroll down and go forwarding URL that's what we want and we'll set that to a permanent redirect and our destination is going to be HTTPS and then it'll be this custom domain example.com forward slash dollar one now this $1 is a Cloudflare variable which is going to pass it in uh, the values that might come after this forward slash so you know the path to a specific page like forward slash login um, just to ensure that not only is the home page redirected but any other pages on www are forwarded to the root domain um, and I'll link in the video notes and the documentation to more details on how Cloudflare does this but for our purposes here we're gonna hit save and deploy okay and then once that's done you should see your URL uh, description here with one rule um, set to on so that's good but there's one more thing that we need to do because Cloudflare is unable to trigger this redirect unless you do have some kind of record for www so in order to do that the last step is we go back to DNS so the last record we'll add is another CNAME record like so and this time it's going to be for www and our target is the at symbol uh, so that's shorthand for the root domain and we want this one to be set to proxied unlike the previous C name we made at the root and then hit save you can see I've already set this up and after you hit save it will take uh, between sort of anywhere between 15 minutes and up to 24 hours it's unusual for it to take that long um, this one I just did took about 45 minutes and you'll know that it's working because you'll be able to visit not only the root domain but also uh, we can visit www.ourdomain.com 
and this is up and working as we expect. Okay, those are the complete steps to set up a custom domain on Cloudflare.